And millions of girls loved David Cassidy. Now he's here to talk about being a young pop idol, life after the Partridge family, and his new project, A Real Life Family Affair. I only want to make you happy, and if you say me, We are have you the ready bus. for this? And we have David Cassidy Look who's Cassidy on top himself. of the bus. Hello, you Mr. Too, Cassidy. brothers. Ah, uh, yes, my security team. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's who these gentlemen, look who this is. Uh, oh, no. they live. you're kidding. Sir? Kidding. No, right down uh, below next to you, Diane, would be Zig. That's uh, his code name is, as we refer to him in terms of security. And next to him, we call uh, the White Peaked One. He, he would be my brother, Patrick. You folks have clearance? <laughs> <laughs> have Welcome. we got clearance? All right. Welcome to the bird is leaving the nest. We're going. Excuse us, folks. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, there they go. Why are they here? We're going to tell you all about it. This is some epic TV we got going on here right now. We were all singing all morning long about the Partridge family. Anyway, it's great to have them here. And they're going to tell us about it. They're going to tell us about a new pro. Wait a minute. Watch out. Clear away. Cassidy coming through. We're in. There he goes. There is a mob of at least 10 or 20 people here. we got to get inside. That's great. We will never do that with you, by the way. I want you to know that. Right <laughs> yeah, now. don't try that at home. Let's go to GM, GMA weekend anchor Kate Snow. She's in for the news. She'll start off this. We're not. And we're going to get happy this morning in a way that does not require any Madison. Madison, we have David Cassidy here. He's here with his brother. We saw Sean and Patrick. Look at that. They're in their, their regular clothes now. Very handsome. Very talented. They got the Partridge family bus out there. It's going to be a great trip down memory lane. Isn't that right, it Mr. Is. Champion? You know, the uh, license plate on the bus you do that is so happy. Get, get happy. So Wisconsin happy. plates. Wisconsin plates. Get happy. Very good. Luckier than I am right now, sitting here with the Cassidy men. I mean, we all know the Cassidy family is a true entertainment juggernaut. David sang his way into our hearts as Keith and the pa Partridge family, of course. Sean solved mysteries as Joe Hardy and the Hardy boys Patrick a Broadway star and now the whole family's back together they're working on a family project it's the ABC show Ruby and the Rockets mm -hmm. oh, this is great it's it just is, great to have it's you here. that and then some can I say it <laughs> it is it's all that it's, and it's, a bucket of chicken wings it, is that what they say I'm not sure about the wings part <laughs> but just working with someone who makes me look so much younger on this on this uh -oh. uh, seriously it's a beautiful beautiful thing and I, I have to say, in all truth and honesty, this is the best experience I've ever had for I me. I can say, in all truth and honesty, it's kind of lukewarm for me. Making the best of a bad situation, yes. really. It's well, tough being the youngest brother and looking the oldest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you all get a, a lot piece, of looks though. to the studio yeah. <laughs> this morning. Hey, let's do it. Let's pump the show a little bit here. What yeah. is the plot of the show? How does it work? Ruby and the Rockets. Uh, I'm the producer of the show. I'm actually not in it. They're the actors. Right. Oh. I'm retired. Mm -hmm. uh, I write and produce the show. Uh, it's the story of a, a young girl played by Lexa Vega who shows up on the doorstep of her father, David, yes, saying, uh, 15 years ago, you spent the night with my mom, and here I am. Uh, they are a former a casino yeah. where I'm performing, and I'm still buying the dream of being the full-on rock star. They were Not this 80s David pop David group. And I, David and I yeah. were the Rockets. We were this 80, 80s pop duo that was very successful and broke up because he accused me of wearing heels to be that much taller than him, and he punched me out in front of the audience. <laughs> <laughs> it Which was would it. happen again today. That's exactly you know. right. <laughs> All true to life, folks. Yeah. It is. We have a clip of the show. Let's take a look. This is me. When I asked for fizzy water, I expected to fizz. Excuse me. And they're also still putting cupcakes in my dressing room. My brother was the cupcake guy. I am a solo act. Can you read the marquee? David Gallagher, formerly of the Rockets. David? Oh, sorry, honey, no autographs. But you can buy one of my T-shirts out front. <laughs> I'm Ruby. I'm your daughter. I'm going to need some rum in that water. <laughs> <laughs> well, that writing really sings. You it? know what? It's, it makes the difference. It really it does. It premieres on ABC yeah. Family. Tomorrow it's night? It's going to be Tuesday night, right? That's when it's going to be at 8.30, so you know when to watch it. Now, people will watch and they'll say, well, how much of this squares up with experiences mm. that you've had? Uh -huh. Let us know where are some biological, some biographical parallels here. Well, a, a lot of the stories and the parallels, 
uh, just purely from an experiential, mm -hmm. from our experience together. We took a family, a brotherly love tour about six or seven years ago. No road trip, no spouses, no children. Right. It's the four of us locked. Four middle-aged men in a car together. <laughs> Who had not spent more than 15 minutes alone the four of us. Our brother Ryan is also on the show. He's our lead dresser. And it's the first time we've all worked together. But it came, I think the idea was spawned out of this road trip where we went from Atlanta to Savannah, Georgia to Millie, Millie Island. Millie Island. Can Dis I just cut to the chase here? Yes, go. <laughs> he punched me out at the happiest place on earth. That's yeah. right. We got to Disney World. Things had gotten a little tense in the car. The thing that sort of broke the camel's back was he asked me where to get his laundry done. I said, I don't know. Bam. And I had, <laughs> that was it. <laughs> and that's what it was. Back? And uh, no, he's taller than me, if you but, haven't noticed. But we, <laughs> but we then spent the next five hours in an SUV going down the highway, and it was therapy. Oh. Therapy. <laughs> we he got out. Five hours later, Patrick got out of the car after c the constant bickering. I'm, meanwhile, I'm Dr. Phil in the car. <laughs> he gets out in a gas station in the middle of nowhere in Florida and says, that's it. I'm done. I'm not getting back in the car. So I'm standing there in, a in Florida, 118 degree heat, going, Patrick, we're at a gas station. There's nothing else for 40 miles around here. What are you going to do, walk? He, he gets back in the car, and for the rest of the trip, it was I, pins and needles and crying and loving Cathartic. and laughing. It we eventually, a, we ended, yeah. it ended with us all swimming with the dolphins yeah. and making up. No. Yeah. Doesn't it, <laughs> he actually, he actually slept with one of the dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's sitting Wasn't in the audience right dolphin? now saying, wow, the Cassidy's are just like us. Oh, yeah. Except for that off-color remark about the dolphin. But <laughs> other than that, we all share these kinds of things. It's great to be back together, safe it's to fantastic. say. Yeah. It's Fine. the best thing that all three of us have ever done. And, and I say that because the experience we've always wanted to work together, and other than Sean and I, we never had. It's the greatest cast I've ever worked with, and uh, it's satire. Great writing staff from Frasier, Seinfeld, Just Shoot Me. I mean, what great, more? great music. David and I, well, like I said, we play the Rockets, and we have a lot of 80s flashback videos. Oh, oh great. So where you get where the we look like a combination of Duran Duran and our mothers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this kind of like scary 80s witches. This will be great. This will be great. You just keep the violence down. Otherwise, you can turn it into a reality That's show exactly. down the road if this doesn't work out. It's very great to have the Cassidy boys. Um, Oh, thank you. Best Thanks, of luck nice on this great to be back on ABC, too. Good to have you there, yeah. ABC Family. Ruby and the Rockets premieres on ABC Family Tuesday night, 8.30. Please watch it. 39 minutes past the hour. Dr. Marie will be with us when we come.